A power system is not only capable to meet the present load but also has the flexibility to meet the future demands. A power system is designed to generate electric power in sufficient quantity to meet the present and estimated future demands of the users in a particular area, to transmit it to the areas where it will be used and then distribute it within that area on a continuous basis. To ensure the maximum return on the large investment in the equipment, which goes to make up the power system and to keep the users satisfied with reliable service, the whole system must be kept in operation continuously without major breakdowns. Power system protection is a powerful engineering branch that deals with electrical system protection. The objective of using this scheme is to keep power systems stable and leaving the network still during operation. The protective systems comprise of five different components, current and voltage transformers, this is to step down high voltage and current of electrical power system, protective relays, it senses the fault to initiate trip, circuit breakers, to open and close the system and is based on auto rec loser commands, batteries, to supply power in case of disconnection, first part is, the primary winding of a current transformer CT which is connected in series the, the line. Second part, secondary winding of CT is connected in series with relay operating coil. Third part is the tripping circuit which may be either AC and DC source of supply, trip coil of the circuit breaker and relay stationary contacts are connected in series connection. This can be achieved in two ways, the first way is to implement a system adopting components, which should not fail and requires the least or nil maintenance to maintain the continuity of service. By common sense, implementing such a system is neither economical nor feasible, except for small systems. The second option is to foresee any possible effects or failures that may cause long-term shutdown of a system, which in turn may take longer time to bring back the system to its normal course. The main idea is to restrict the disturbances during such failures to a limited area and continue power distribution in the balance areas. Special equipment is normally installed to detect such kind of failures also called faults that can possibly happen in various sections of a system, and to isolate faulty sections so that the interruption is limited to a localized area in the total system covering various areas. The special equipment adopted to detect such possible faults is referred to as protective equipment or protective relay and the system that uses such equipment is termed as protection system. A protective relay is the device, which gives instruction to disconnect a faulty part of the system. This action ensures that the remaining system is still fed with power, and protects the system from further damage due to the fault. Hence, use of protective apparatus is very necessary in the electrical systems, which are expected to, to generate, transmit, and distribute power with least interruptions and restoration time. It can be well recognized that use of protective equipment are very vital to minimize the effects of faults, which otherwise can kill the whole system. Basic requirements of protection A protection apparatus has three main functions duties, safeguard the entire system to maintain continuity of supply, minimize damage and repair costs where it senses fault, ensure safety of personnel. These requirements are necessary, firstly for early detection and localization of faults, and secondly for prompt removal of faulty equipment from service. Objective of power system protection. The main objective of using power system protection is to detach the faulty section from the system to make the rest of the portion work without any disturbance. In addition to this, it is used for the protection of power system and prevent the flow of fault current. It can help in preventing the continuation of flow by quickly disconnecting the short circuit. Protection relays, on the other hand, are the important characteristic of power system protection helps to isolate the faculty part of the electrical system. However, it is important for this relay to possess certain qualities that are mentioned below, dependability, this is an important aspect of the relay to possess, as it remains out of action for a long time before the fault occurs. However, if the fault occurs, the relay should respond correctly. Selective, the protection relay should operate on the commissioned condition in the electrical power system. There are situa situations during fault which relays shouldn't be operated after a definite time limit, hence it should be capable enough to select the appropriate condition for operation. In order to carry out the above duties, protection must have the following qualities. Selectivity, to detect and isolate the faulty item only. Stability, to leave all healthy circuits intact to ensure continuity or supply. Sensitivity, to detect even the smallest fault, current or system abnormalities and operate correctly at its setting before the fault causes irreparable damage. Speed, to operate speedily when it is called upon to do so, thereby minimizing damage to the surroundings and ensuring safety to personnel. To meet all of the above requirements, protection must be reliable which means it must be, dependable, it must trip when called upon to do so. Secure, it must not trip when it is not supposed to. Basic components of protection of any distribution system is a function of many elements and this manual gives a brief outline of various components that go in protecting a system. Following are the main components of protection. Fuse is the self-destructing one, which carries the currents in a power circuit continuously and sacrifices itself by blowing under abnormal conditions. These are normally independent or stand-alone protective components in an electrical system unlike a circuit breaker, which necessarily requires the support of external components. Accurate protection cannot be achieved without properly measuring the normal and abnormal conditions of a system. 
In electrical systems, voltage and, and current measurements give feedback on whether a system is healthy or not. Voltage transformers and current transformers measure these basic parameters and are capable of providing accurate measurement during fault conditions without failure. The measured values are converted into analog and or digital signals and are made to operate the relays, which in turn isolate the circuits by opening the faulty circuits. In most of the cases, the relays provide two functions viz, alarm and trip, once the abnormality is noticed. The relays in olden days had very limited functions and were quite bulky. However, with advancement in digital technology and use of microprocessors, relays monitor various parameters, which give complete history of a system during both pre-fault and post-fault conditions. The opening of faulty circuits requires some time, which may be in milliseconds, which for a common day life could be insignificant. However, the circuit breakers, which are used to isolate the faulty circuits, are capable of carrying these fault currents until the fault currents are totally cleared. The circuit breakers are the main isolating devices in a distribution system, which can be said to directly protect the system. The operation of relays and breakers require power sources, which shall not be affected by faults in the main distribution. Hence, the other component, which is vital in protective system, is batteries that are used to ensure uninterrupted power to relays and breaker coils. The above items are extensively used in any protective system and their design requires careful study and selection for proper operation. Important terms related to power system protection, protection, the following are some important terms related to power system protection and their definitions, relay, a relay is an electromagnetic or electromechanical or electronic device that can automatically operate using a power signal to perform the switching of a high power signal. Protective relay, a protective relay is a type of relay that can automatically operate in case of any fault or abnormal condition that occurs in the electrical system. The protective relay is generally used to sense the abnormality and trip the circuit breaker to isolate the faulty section from the healthy section of the system. Circuit breaker, a circuit breaker is a type of electrical switch that can operate manually or automatically. It is used in protection system to trip the circuit when a signal is received from the relay. It is the main component of the protection system that separate the faulty and healthy sections of the system. Pickup value it is the threshold value of the actuating quantity like current or voltage above which the relay will operate. Reset value, the threshold value of the actuating quantity like current or voltage below which the relay is de-energized and comes to its normal operating condition is known as reset value. What are the protective devices in power system? Protective devices in power system are the electrical or electronic devices that can detect the abnormal condition in the circuit and initiate tripping of the circuit breaker. The following are some key protective devices used in power system protection. Protective relays, to sense the fault or abnormal condition in the circuit and initiate the circuit breaker operation. Circuit breaker, it is an automatically operated electric switch that opens the circuit when a trip signal is received from the relay. Fuses, it is a protective device which consists of a metal wire that can melt in case when a fault occurs and a high current flowing in the circuit. Communication channels, it is a network that connects different components of the protection system together and allows for signal transmission. What is need of power system protection, an electrical power system comprises of several expensive and sensitive equipment like transformer, alternator, measuring instruments, and more. Faults occurring in the system can damage these equipment and cause a loss of property or life due to electrical accidents. Therefore, an electrical protection system has to be implemented to protect the power system from faults or abnormal conditions. What is fault in power system, an abnormal condition that affects the normal operation of the electrical system that can result in damage to the system equipment components is called a fault.